Shalimar Steinberg, and today we are talking about using layers. So as you can see in this drawing right here under the layers, we only have the zero layer currently created. And this layer has special properties which make it very useful for um, using blocks, but it's not the layer that we primarily want to draw our objects on. So I'm going to go right next to it to where it says layer properties, which will take me into the manager. And I'm going to just move it down a little bit here. Okay, so right now the currently selected layer is the zero layer. I'm going to go up here where there's the little orange burst and it says new layer. And I'm going to click on that. It makes a new layer based off of whatever the currently selected layer is. Now I have the option of naming it, so I'm going to name this one object. And then I can control whether it's turned on or off or frozen. Um, whether it plots. Right now I'm going to start by changing the color. Um, actually I'm going to leave the object layer as white and continuous, but I am going to change the line weight because since it is my object layer I want it to be thicker. So I'm going to turn it to 35 millimeters. Now I'm going to make another new layer and you see that it's based off of the previous layer that I just made so it's at a default thickness so I'll turn that back because I have most other things I'm going to want to be there. Uh, if I want to name it, I can double click in here. And I'll call this one um, Dimension. I'm going to change the color. Now I personally tend to use blue, or the light blue, the cyan for my dimensions. There's no strict um, thing telling you what colors you should use, but it's typically useful to choose a set of colors that you like and then use those in most of your drawings. That way you know what they represent typically. And instead of continuous, I'm going to go here, and you see continuous is the only option right now, so I have to click on the word load. And then I can scroll down until I find the one that I want. So I might use it for my center lines. And you can see that the pattern for center lines is a long dash, then a short dash, then a long dash, etc. So when I go back in, continuous is still selected as current, so I then again have to select center and say OK. And now you can see it's the center line type. Then I'm going to pick another layer. So for this one I might say hidden. And hidden lines are lines that are part of an object but that you can't see from the view that you're drawing. So you draw them in as dash to show that they exist on the back side of the object but aren't visible from the front. And we'll learn more about that as we talk about different shapes. Um, so I'm going to make those red. And again, I'm going to load a new line type. And for hidden, um, you can actually go to hidden here and say OK. And then I have to select hidden. OK, so now I have three new layers created. And I'm going to leave that thickness as default. So if I wanted to create a filter for those, I would come over here to filters and this button that says new property filter. And then I would go like this, and here I could name whatever my filter was going to be. So if I wanted to say um, color or line weight or whatever I want to sort it by. And then I would go down here and I would pick whichever section I want. So say I wanted it to be by color. When I click under color, I get a little uh, dot, three dotted button. And if I click on that, then I can choose the color that I want it to be sorted by and it will create a filter that just applies to those. Okay, so I'm going to close my layer man man uh, manager, and now I have the ability to use the drop-down menu here under the Home tab to select what layer I want to currently be drawing on. So first I'm going to select Object, and you want to click in the empty space next to it. If you click on the word or on the color, it's going to try and change those. Whereas if you select, go, click in the empty space, it'll just select that layer. Now when I draw a line, it'll have the properties of that layer. So it'll be continuous lines that are white, and if I were to print them out, they would be extra thick. Then I can switch my layer to, say, my hidden line layer. And when I go into the line command, anything that I draw now is going to be taking on the properties of that layer, so the red dashed default line thickness.
canvas that I had created. And then I could switch again to the dimension layer, for example, and it's going to draw them with the line types that I'd selected for that layer. All right.